This is the best thing ever. I love disc golf. What's up, everybody? We're at Deucin Park Disc Golf Course in uh, Houston before Eric leaves for his plane. We're going to come out here and shoot a dollar, 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 dollar round on a course we never played. This was a course that they played for Texas States. I think it was like G pool or something, but we're gonna play the shorts, try to get some aces, or maybe just shoot well under par. First hole, 255 feet straight at it, left gap, right gap. Um, two off one, I'm gonna go Texas Ranger. <clears throat> First throw of the day. Oh my gosh, could be better. There it is. Just go in it. Never had a chance. All right, so I'm going to throw a brand new disc, Sayananda, who just won the Texas State Championships. Her first big win, first of many. It is a bear. Full disclosure, we do not have the uh, monopod, so we're gonna be a little shaky today, but it'll be fun. Oh, yeah, that works. Evader. Okay, that works as well. Let's get it. First putt of the day. <laughs> Uh, no problem. No prob, Bob. No prob. Long putt of the day, too, right now. That's what's up. Two at the short, 339 feet. It looks pretty obvious that you just have to throw a hyzer shot. So let's see if I can connect with this Founders Nimitz. Oh, Brian, you got to throw that flat. My discs are still wet from yesterday morning. I'm gonna apologize for any type of video fuzziness there might be from yes. the air quality. Air quality, it's awful, it's misty. You can't even see 20 feet in front of you. It's really good. Great shot. I was gonna do a jump putt. What happened, Taco? Uh, well, we looked at the hole that was directly straight off the tee pad and it's the wrong, <laughs> wrong basket. So now I have a 120 foot approach instead of an 80 foot approach. Hey, at least you don't have a 120 foot approach instead of a 30 foot putt. <laughs> like you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Copperhead. Yep. So this is where Eric's drive went. So instead of a circle edge putt. For that basket. I now have to jam a 112. Hey, you're far. Oh, I thought that was good. It was good. I thought it was good. No problem, though. No problem, Bob. Hey, three, three. 324 feet, feet straight. Let's just make sure that this is the correct pin. It appears to be. All right, Full disclosure, hopefully. you should always look at the T signs. Yeah. <laughs> Verify where the pin is. I'm gonna go with uh, Robert Burge, Mockingbird. Let's try to lace one straight. Not straight. Looks pin high, right, though. Trust Evator. Evator.
Oh, that's cooked. Miss it. Long that wasn't putt. good, but it's a putt. That's left. Knew it out of the hand. Oh, like that? That was the 25 footer I did at uh, hole 16. I did that during the round. Frank Cage sent it off to the right. <laughs> oh, gosh! I can just do McCabe putt for him because these are like blindfold. Yay! Good three here. Oh my gosh. So stupid. Hole number four, par three. Island, it looks like they played this weekend. 252 feet. Just right there. Lawnmower in the background. I think I'm gonna go Orbit Fusion Orbit Emac Judge. Available soon. The glass blown open block party. Pick one up. Oh. Dang, that thing flies so good. Pick one up in a few weeks. That might be OB. Just kidding. Redemption putt. Oh, cave in. Yay. No problem. Yay. Easy birdie. Next That's hole. one you should birdie every single time you play it. Every time. Just gonna try to point and shoot right at her and not hit those college kids. Get off. Dang. That was gonna do things. Deanne Carey Krill. <laughs> cool, easy approach. Oh, gotta hit a putt. Oh, look at that kick. Bucky. Look at Joel. There's a putt. Ew, he's all mad. He's all <laughs> dirty and gross. Oh, you gotta throw it though. That's right there, I think. Couple birdie putts, the clean ups. What'd you do there? Pulled it a little left. <laughs> and we're tight again. Miss putts will do that to ya. I know exactly how that feels. 279 feet. The basket, Eric, can you see it up there? I can. It looks like there's a wide gap around this like last little grouping and there definitely looks like a hyzer gap but I see a grouping of trees up there on the right. So I'm gonna throw this Warbird on forehand, hope to get some action down there past the basket. So throw it hard, let it skip. Not like that, you gotta throw it flat. I mean, that's lucky. 35 foot. I'm gonna try something stupid. That's a, uh, that's a Raider. It's a Raider. On a, how far did you say this hole? 279 foot. Okay. We're going for the skip base is what we're going for. Oh gosh, I threw that 389 feet. Oh. Perfect height, just a little long. Just a little oh long, gosh. guys, just a little long. Not only am I long, I've got no look. Just jam and hope. 
There's the jam. Where's the hope? Ooh, that branch. That was extremely close for what you had. Hole seven, 249 feet. There's like an inside gap straight at the basket and then there's like this hyzer gap. I'm going glow copper head. Hopefully in the bucket. Get that a little flatter. I liked it. Another putt. I'm going felon. He went copperhead. <laughs> but I'm not trying to air it in. I'm trying to skip it in. Because skip bases are cool. Oh. That was I love a horrible the attempt at a skip base, but yeah. hey, it's good. Get up. Low ball. Low disc. <laughs> Should have been a dad putt. <laughs> well, can't say this is the first time I've done this this week. Yay, I got that one though. I gotta get those ones. I like the baskets. 228 feet straight. There's definitely like a tree right by the basket for the hyzer line. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna throw the copperhead like backhand straight because the forehand gap is like a, a short flexing shot. Don't really like that. Let's see if I can ace it, but maybe just a two on this one's good. I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna go flippy Emac judge here. Cause all my other decisions have been poor today. Might as well make it seven in a row. Seven. Seven in a row. Oh my gosh. Never had a chance, ever, never, not even once. I'm sick of being long all day long and you're always just parked. Missing putts. I still have, I'm still not like taking advantage of those. <sighs> Especially when you're doing that. You still got me by one. <laughs> Except for that one, got a little nervous. <laughs> Are you going this right side gap? No, I'm going the same route you went. You throwing a forehand? Going forehand, guys. Rare Eric McCabe forehand comes out on the 252 par three. This is like max distance. There's no hyzer line here unless I go high or right at it. We should have played double <laughs> Just <mando>. trees. <laughs> I'm going forehand, dude. First forehand in a couple years. That's not true. I threw one Saturday. All right. Oh, shorter. I got the tree that everybody smokes. Does that mean I'm a good forehand player now? Sorry, tree. Big putt. Big putt, wet putter. No, oh, dang it. So bad. <laughs> Short again. Okay, hole 10. So the front nine, I think I got Eric by a stick just because our putting was so good. I laid everything up and Eric went long because he's trying to ace everything, which is fine because, oh yeah, if he hits ace, I owe him double what I already owe him, which is like gonna be $34. Which is how much? Right well, here. I owe you 17 bucks. It's right here. Right there. So if he aces, then I, I owe him double. If I ace, it wipes it, so. Well, taco count now is 16 bucks because you won that front nine. $16, that's right. 
All right, so at? hole 10 is a 243 foot, kind of like an Anheuser type shot. I feel like there is a backdoor hyzer play, but I think in order to ace it, you have to go in the air at it. You know what? I'm gonna throw a forehand with that Warbird and get to skip around that wide side because the basket's far enough behind those trees. If I throw one hard, I might run at it. All right, wish me luck, everyone. No layups allowed from Taco anymore. <clears throat> that one was gonna be long. I felt like really good about that until it hit that tree. That was my best shot of the day into a tree. <laughs> What's the play for Eric McCabe? I don't know, dude. Like, it's an interesting little hole. It is. I think I would, in a tournament, I'd probably go Heiser. Right. But this day is all about having some fun. So we're bringing, you know what I'm doing. We're bringing this guy out <laughs> that's again. A, that's a forehand. <laughs> that's a forehand disc, dude. Back to back forehand. When was the last time Emac went back to back forehands? The answer is uh. never. I'm a back uh, forehand player now. Is that cool? It's time today. Taco is a little short, and I am 40 feet long. <laughs> Ooh, in the hole. Long, Guess I got huh? too much power on the old forehand. Wow. Wet putter again, too. Sick. Metal, 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 metal. Good part. All right, hole 11. Eric and I are just playing the best golf you guys have ever seen. But again- It's like we played an A tier yesterday. I wonder if that's why we don't care as much. <laughs> just out here messing around, dude. It feels so good to do this. Hole 11, 465 foot par four, <gasps> eagle time. If we don't ace one, at least we should do is bang some eagles. Because Eric and I are two of the only guys, two of the three only guys that got an eagle out there. And Brock Mod, let's go. I don't think anybody got it the second day. Dan Carey Curl. Smash your pot of this time. Did it land? Yep. She ain't flipping. Too much hyzer. Felt the headwind. I have about as long of an upshot as I just threw that shot. Eagle putt. Eagle, eagle 300 foot shot. Nature appreciation moment. Cool. <sighs> Fly away. Dude, dude, I thought I drilled that. That took 20 minutes to get there. <laughs> so close. Joel almost went in though. You go, hole 11, that was a par four back there. But it felt like a par three because it was there's no danger and it was like 465 feet. So we're gonna we're gonna say Eric and I both parred that. <laughs> yes. With our threes, didn't feel like a birdie. Hole 12 though, 285 foot. There's some danger on the left for the cart path. I don't think that'll be an issue. I'm gonna go with the Texas Ranger, um, but I think I'm gonna wait until these ladies get past it. They also have a fence on the right. Dude, how, oh yeah, there is the OB right fence. Um, low ceiling off the tee. It looks pretty straightforward. And there's a horse. The lady's a walking horse. a horse back there behind the basket. 
That thing's walking like cross-legged. It's so tall it doesn't know Dude, what to do with itself. Saddle that thing up and let's ride. All right, time to toss. Little tailwind, a little left to right over the shoulder. ESU, EMAC, truth. Dang it, she flattened, what, unlike yours. Oh look, I'm long. Go figure. After 12 holes, I'm finally long of a basket by 10 feet. on the chains as you possibly can. And get the birdie. We got this Yay. 12 by catching us. All those little hats right there. And just threw into the pond. 150 foot carry, but they're catching us. It's crazy. Hole 13, 249. That is not accurate. I think it's more like 239. I don't know. It's not very far, it's right there. Should probably go forehand because I'm a master at it now. Instead, I'm gonna throw this tight hyzer line with a Fusion Orbit EMAC judge that you can pick up during the glass blown open. And here's why you should. Because you shank them, that looks like it should be going OB, and it doesn't. That forehand was, line's looking cleaner and cleaner right forehand. now. Should've gone forehand. Pop in it, pop in it. Oh, it's short again. Oh, I'll take that. That was a good run. That was good. Oh, dude, that was just like nose up. All right, 420 feet, just dead straight. Let's get it, par four. Where you going? Mustache. Mustache Vandal. Mustache Vandal. Got OB on both sides. Kind of like the big turnover shot. I was thinking about that as well. I'm gonna just try a bullet with butterfly wings. Ooh, eagle op. That was eagle great. Look. That was great. I'm going Deanne Carey Curl. Cause I can. Little tailwind too, right? Yep. Oh, it's so bad. I need that to get lucky. Nope, it's out of bounds. Dude, what are you doing? Nothing feels good. <laughs> like backhand, forehands. <laughs> not gonna apologize. I was like, you're about to get two. Hole well, well, number 15, 444 feet. You got a fence on the right that's OB. You've got a sidewalk on the left that's OB. You've got a picnic table down there that nobody's having a picnic at, so that's good. I kind of like the big mashing hyzer, but the, those branches hanging over the fence, so I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna go mustache vandal that I just parked that hole with and missed a putt. <laughs> 444, this is a long one for the vandal. You know what I probably should do? Okay, I should well, probably throw a roller on this hole. Oh. But I'll throw that second and show you why. Because I'm gonna park it with the roller and probably not with this one, but we'll see. Vandal. Flex. Picnic. Thank God nobody was picnicking. Oh! I love the shape through it into the ground. Miss it. Oh! 
Wow. Still hit the fence. That was cool. That thing jumped really 40 cool. feet in the air. 40. It's probably a backhand approach, but I'm definitely gonna throw a forehand approach. With this gapper head. Miss that. Yeah, yeah, I think I can miss or make that. You can you can use it as a pinch while you throw your approach. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> Smart. It's a great advertising piece. Uh, this is a tough one. It was the worst shot I've ever thrown. Hole number 16, 321, just dead straight. There is a sidewalk that looks like it comes up pretty quick behind it. I'm going ESU, stingers up, quirky EMAC truth. That's so short. That's so taco. Wow, you super laid that up. Yeah. Oh, it's OB. You're not short. <laughs> so loving those across the pass shots. <laughs> Good grief. Well, I'm not super low, it's super high. I get heads as it comes rolling by my feet. <laughs> did you tell me you got all of that? I did. <laughs> That's the other half of the group behind him. So. Yeah, and there's 85 kids in a Chevrolet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you threw it right at that kid in those tan shorts. <laughs> get it. <laughs> hey, I know what that looks I like. I give up. <laughs> 387 feet, 17. I'm gonna throw a disc that's kind of failed me this weekend, if you wanna know the truth. Uh, maybe it didn't fail me, I just threw it on hole one. No, I threw it on the second hole of the tournament and I threw it on the fourth hole of the tournament. And that was it, it never flew again. Mm -hmm. I just threw it poorly though, it was my fault. Big hyzer, probably should throw forehand, but. Oh, I think that's a little long. Per use. Eric just made that look so easy. There's definitely some headwind on this hole. bad. Gosh, that was terrible. Just playing the best golf in my life. That's <laughs> Just like, didn't even want to get it there. You act like you've played like three rounds in the last three days. Where's that been? Why didn't I just throw that? That one, went, that one went long. <laughs> Shot of the day, four hands. <laughs> oh yeah, no big deal. Do it. Oh. Air ball. Oh. That's what I've been doing. I'm not Vinny. We've got 570 feet. We got OB all down this right side. We got a Mando, which this OB is kind of pointless, I think, until the Mando, right? Like Agreed. It's not needed, it's not pointless, I guess, but it's a tough hole because you got this little branch here. The basket's way down there to the right. I think you just blast something straight and see what happens. And hopefully you don't miss the Mando or the OB or the anything else. All my discs are up top. Joel's all wet. Soaking wet. Oh, bag's wet. It's just sloppy. Just... How about my shoes are like? I know. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to go buy new shoes for the flight. You can't be sitting in first class with stinky feet. Hmm. That's what all the other first class people do. Yeah, well, I'm in coach. <laughs> Just gonna swoop on the first class spots. <laughs> if there's a seat open, I'll take it. <laughs> swoop. All right, let's go, Joel. Oh, you missed that branch, you lucky dog. Where is it? That was probably the best shot I could ever throw on this I, hole. I couldn't even see where it finished because it like went into the clouds and disappeared. It, it, uh, it missed this branch right here, held that Anheuser, started to flex out just past that Mando tree. Oh gosh, okay, so I was like way off. Yeah. I was like looking for it to well, go straight. It is Ballista Joel who is a little blue and the sky's a little gray, so. All right, well. And we don't have a monopod, so. Taco's throwing his curl again. Curl, but I'm gonna go to the left side through that gap. Yeah. I like that, lat, that gap a little bit better. And that's why. That was crunched. Crunch. Yeah, one out of 12 ain't bad, you know? One out of 12. Yeah, that's how many times I feel like I've thrown that disc today. Oh. Yes. Marco. Yes. Yes. Deal. I got a deal for you. I'm always down. If you make this shot from here to there, we are all square. And However, hmm? if I make mine from over there, you owe me double what you owe me already. Fine, Eric. All right, put it in. All right. Don't leave it short, Brian. The one time, right? Mm. I left it short. I'm there. Ah. This is for all the marbles. This is for a lot of money. Never. Well, I had a chance more than yours. <laughs> but I should have gone forehand into the parking lot. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, Joel. Meet you at the car. Joel's oh my gosh, go home. literally went to the van. Joel's ready to go home. All right, guys, there's mine. Taco came up <laughs> short, but. Three and a three to end the day. Taco's down there. I don't know if you guys, how good this looks, but. Thank you guys so much for watching. I ended up beating Taco that round on the back nine and the overall, I got the long putt. PB didn't count today, he got the front nine, so here's the Taco total. Thank you guys for watching, that was a lot of fun. What a great weekend this was down here with Taco, who's out over there. Like, subscribe, we'll see you on the next one.